Hi, I'm Captain Steve Chaconis, and welcome to the National Bass Fishing Show. Frog fishing, it's gotten so popular. When I was a kid, we had frogs. They were invented in the 50s by Harry Ayler. Uh, he made the first frog, and everybody had one, and we just couldn't catch fish with them because we didn't have braided line. We didn't have stiff poles, but boy, I tell you what, the fish would blow up on them, and if you got lucky and you waited long enough and let them kind of choke it down, then maybe you could catch one. Well, I tell you what, we got a lot of tips for you. One of the tips is don't wait. Fish blows up. There are three three indicators that you've got to bite. One, you see that frog disappear, which is why I suggest that you use a white frog when you're learning how to use frogs. Focus in on that frog. When it disappears, the fish has it in its mouth. The second thing is while you're watching that frog, watch the line that's right in front of it. Aim right at that bait. Keep that line mended so there's no gap in that line. Watch that line. If you see that line jump, that means the fish has it. And the last one is when that fish hits that bait and starts to pull the rod out of your hand, set the hook. The best hook set, straight up. Don't set it off to the side. All you're going to do is pull the fish into the grass or the pads or whatever cover that fish is coming out with. Try to hook set straight up. Get that fish coming to you. These are real thick wire hooks. So you've got to use, you see the hooks on these, on these baits are pretty doggone thick. You've got to use a really stout rod to get to get that hook to penetrate. See how thick that wire is? You've got to really drive that hook in. So a straight up hook set. Now, a couple things you can do to make your frog a little more enticing. And one of the things is to give it a fur collar. That's right, this is rabbit, uh, rabbit fur. Fly tying stores have them. They call them zonkers or whatever. This one has not been tied onto a bait yet because it still has some of the skin with it, so it will get a little stiff after you've used it for a while, but once it gets wet, it'll start to work again. So before you even touch your frog, you need to do something. You need to open the hook gap. And when I say open the hook gap, let's take a look at this one right here. See how this one, the hook is kind of sticking up above it? So what I had done with this is I grabbed my needle nose pliers, grabbed the bend of the hook, and then carefully just bend it back ever so slightly. So we want to get that hook so it's exposed itself a little bit more and it's going to come across the grass and not get hung up. And it's also going to give you better hook, hook penetration when you do get a bite. The other thing I do is I get eight millimeter glass beads. I get two of them and I find an opening in that frog somewhere. There's always an opening because these things fill up with water. You could put them in through the nose. You could put them in through where the, uh, uh, where the skirts are. You could try to jam them in through there. A lot of places that you could put, and they click around, they make a little noise. All right, so you can hear that a little bit. But the last thing I do, going back to this rabbit fur, this is so cool. I have rabbit fur on here, on this frog. Now, like I said, it gets a little stiff. So when it gets wet, it will kind of straighten out and you will have straight frog, leg, fro frog legs made out of fur. So when you pull those, all that fur just kind of pulls together. When you stop, those legs move, the fur's moving, and man, I tell you what, those fish can't resist it. Also, while you're walking it, these legs will move with that bait. They'll move back. It's like a hula skirt on there. And like I said, they will uh, tighten up for you. But once they get wet, these things will relax. Now, how do you put them in? Well, if you could thread one all the way through the frog, that's the best way to do it. Uh, usually, I tie a piece of uh, braid to this. And I'll put it in through one frog leg. Let me get a frog out here and show you. I'll put it in through one frog leg here and pull it out the other side, pull it through. And then I put a little silicone on it to kind of keep it a little more waterproof, uh, keep it from gaining water, but also to keep it so that that skirt, that now new skirt, the frog hair legs with the rabbit fur, and that's going to stay on there a little bit longer. These are some cool tips to use. Try them out. Tell your friends about us. I'm Steve Chaconis, and thanks for watching. Tell your friends to subscribe to the National Bass Fishing Show.